anyway, um, I want to talk about this though, because I've been talking about it on the podcast and it's just unbelievable. I, I, I talked about the movie cats episodes ago when I was in, uh, Albuquerque and it was way before the movie was coming out. I think I found out that day that cats was coming out and I couldn't fucking believe it. Okay. And I realized that cats is a campy, cool, campy thing that was supposed to be made as a musical in the eighties. I think it was made, which is crazy by the way, that it was even made in the eighties and not the 1840s, okay? Because, you know why? Because it's such a fucking bad idea to have singing and dancing cats around, okay? Period. Now, somehow, it hooked in to the culture or the vibe or the LSD times of the 80s or whatever that it blew up and became a movie or a, 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 a musical that everyone went to go see. And there were some fucking jamming songs on it that Barbara Streisand's got famous singing for one of them. You know what I mean? memories and that's just a taste okay people ask if i could sing i go you do the math memories you do the math right but calculate that my babies so they did this fucking musical and it blew up now hollywood being hollywood and being unoriginal fine cool they also do cool stuff i get it but most of the part the money stuff is from the sequels and the reboot and shits, right? Now they thought, oh, I love the exec that was probably like, what about cats? And then they were like, yeah, let's make cats. Not thinking about how fucking stupid it will look for sure when they CGI humans with cats. Like standing up upright humans. No, standing up upright cats with human faces and no teddies and cocks. All right? Okay. Oh, Taylor Swift is gorgeous? <laughs> well, let's take that out of the equation and make her a cat. Okay. Now, they did this movie. Now, on paper, sounds bad as shit. Okay, you know what? Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes, they fucking Hollywood surprises me. I'm usually right about this shit. Did I know Speed Racer was going to be a tank? Yes. Was it? Yes. Is it easy to usually tell a tank? Yes. Gemini Man, did I know? Yes. All right. Uh, so they they made this movie Cats, and the CG they the the fucking trailer came out, and once the trailer came out, they should have been like, you know what, we're gonna cut our losses. We're not putting any money into advertisement, whatever, because it was a fucking joke and it looked horrible. Okay. Now I knew it was going to fucking bomb. I told you months and months ago. All right. It has the craziest, weirdest cast. Jason Derulo's in it. Bye. Fucking what's his name from the late night is in it. Fine late night show show host. Maybe a great actor. Just seems so calculated that you put him in cats. Bye. Uh, Idris Elba. Hey, that guy is too good. And so is Judy Dench. Don't put him in cats. Judy Dench did an interview yesterday that ca- where she said her fucking character was trans. Okay? And the end of 2019 goes to Judy Dench. Well, you know, it's because my character was trans. Okay? I, w- I-, I just drank and water fucking came out everywhere. But that's how it goes, dude. When you say stuff like that, I ruin my fucking desk. Now, that's what she said, okay? Okay, cool. Judy Dench, Dame Judy Dench or whatever. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, when they say like the Or fucking Sir... E- oh, Ian McKellen's in it, right? Sir Ian McKellen and Dame Judy Dench is in it. Hey, yeah, what the fuck? They're knights and queens or whatever. What are you doing? I'm putting them in a movie about cats. Ian McKellen's in it just like this, you know? You know, the part where he's fucking against the wall and he's just like... And you and he's literally thinking, it's because of the money. That's what he was... That So this is a movie and Jason Derulo's in it. Which is unfucking real, dude. It's unreal that they were like, well, we, you know, he's popular and he sings and stuff. 
So they put Jason Derulo's handsome ass in there, and then Jason Derulo did an interview on a fucking radio station and was like, hey, man, they they had to CGI my cock out because it was just too big. Hey, no! No, they didn't! No, they didn't! You know why? They didn't CGI out because your cock is too big. They CGI'd it out because it's a cock. Okay? You mean if it was smaller, they wouldn't have? Imagine how weird it would be if Jason Derulo came in just like, memories, and he just had a fucking little nub protruding out of his fucking, between his cat legs. No, man. Stop trying to act all R&B in cats. Dude, that's the thing, too. When a motherfucker tries to act all hard, but is still in cats. Hey, dude. You're trying to act hard like you got a big R&B dick, but you're in cats. You're singing with Judy Dench. Dude, your, your cock is gone because it's a cock and this is a family movie. Okay? Bye. Dun, 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 dun. You can't have a cock in a fucking family movie, period. You can't have a cock in a family movie, period. Jason DeVoe. Jason DeVoe got his cock. Got his cock, Cindy, it. Dude, you know? Because Jason DeVoe got his cock, Cindy, it. Dude, you can't... That, that was just the best. And then the interviewer was like, oh, wow, all right. So you got your cock CGI out because it was too big. Okay, okay. No way. <laughs> I just don't understand this, you know, you're in cats, dude. I'm losing my mind. It's fine. Why do you listen to this? It's fine. I, this podcast is like, now you, now you have to listen, I guess, because like, it's like a thing and like, I make money on it and it's like, fucking, I got to keep doing it. And, like, I just told you that, like, I had sex with a girl fucking years ago, and she said, fuck my carcass. I didn't ever want to do that, okay? I didn't ever want to do that, but you made me. You understand? You know when Tupac is like, I was raised in the society, and they made me who I am. That's exactly what the fuck is happening, dude. You're the society, and I'm Tupac, and you made me tell you that a girl said, fuck my carcass once. So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Happy fucking holidays. I hope you're listening to this with your family. I just can't. What you going to do with that big cat butt? What you going to do with that big cat butt? They had to go to cat school, by the way, which is like like they were like they were shooting Band of Brothers. They had to go to weeks of cat school. And and they were like, oh, how cool is it that we got to we just had to. Dude, what are you fucking out of your mind? Just act like a cat. No, but when cats, you know, there was some fucking divorced guy that was just like, well, no, when cats, you know, move around, they move more with the show. You know, you want to lead with the show. And bro, imagine I had that part. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's me in the back. What? I got to lead with my, can I just walk and walk around like a cat? Well, you want to lead with it. The... All right, dude. Are you serious? Jason, are you going to fucking do this? You're, ju- you're cool with this? Mr. fucking R&B ass, you're good with this shit. I know Taylor's obviously good with it. And Idris Elba's, fu- Idris Elba's fucking obviously into it because he's fucking 50 and just started DJing. But come on, dude. Dame Judy Dench, of course she is. She makes people call her fucking Dame Judy Dench. Sir Ian McKellen, honestly, he's not even really that into it. And he's fucking gay. And it's a musical. Um, Yeah, dude. Oh, what? Uh- Juan Fire brought up something on Vulture. Ian McKellen learns to sniff. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to read it. Dowling set up a multi-step curriculum for teaching actors and dancers how to move like a... It doesn't even say cat, dude. To move like a jellical cat. Dude, a jellical cat is nothing, okay? Also, I bet I know how they move. It's just like a fucking cat. So get out of here with that jellical shit. She started with a basic cat anatomy. She started with basic cat anatomy, anatomy and behavior. 
and then made it more jellical. No, I'm kidding. That didn't say that. She started with basic cat anatomy and behavior, teaching people through videos or lecture, lectures about the specific, specifics of cat movement. Lectures, dude. Hey, let's try to make it more assholey. She would have then she would then have the actors play as cats and instruct them. Imagine you get that part and you're fucking just licking your wrist next to Taylor Swift and Judy Dench and you're just like, what is my life? What is going on? And then you look over and Jason Derulo is in some fucking tight jeans and off whites just licking his wrist and you're like, Ugh. what is happening? This is real life shit that happened, okay? She would then have the actress place guys instructing, for instance, to say hello by coming up to one another and bump noses. Kay, are you fucking shitting me? I, okay, now walk up. Now everyone, walk up and bump noses to each other. I go like this. Okay, I'm, but I'm doing it with Jason Derulo. I'm not doing it with anybody else. Jason Derulo is my partner in this. Do you understand me? Or I'm fucking strut, or I'm purring off. Uh. They learned how to sit as a cat and or how to sniff before they see. To re- Also, they're not cats, dude. They're humans. So don't need to do that. So much busy work. Shoot the goddamn movie, you know? Put it in front of green screen. I just did a zombie movie and I play a human and I still had to fucking pose in front of green screen and do all this shit so they can manipulate my body however they want to. And I'm playing a fucking human. Uh, they react to things less with their eyes and with their ears and noses. Ian McKellen was apparently especially enamored with this part of the process. Uh, just imagine, yeah, go down more. Imagine, j- j- just you hear something, you move your head. There you go. K- class dismissed. On the day, uh, on the day we learned how cats greet one another, I was paired with Sir Ian McKelly, Robert Fairchild said, the former New York ballet st- dancer and Tony Nani, who plays a narrator, Monka Strap said, you go 40. Now, all this would be fine if the movie made $100 million, but it made $6.5 million, dude. This movie made $6.5 million opening weekend. Dude, my friends make more money than that a year. This is cats. Look at this. You go four inches away from each other and from each other's face... And from each other's faces and just start smelling. And if you like each other, you tap noses and rub on each other. I'm four inches away from Gandalf and we're there for 15 seconds and then I go for it. I go in and he goes, no, 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 not yet. I'm not ready. When I relayed that anecdote to Dowling, she laughed. Ian was really very thorough, hardworking in his cat school, he said. We did a lot of it with him. He's a good actor, man. I mean, you know. Wait, go up, go up, go up. This is the guy. Everyone needs cat practice. Taylor Swift, less so. Okay, keep going down. How does a jellical cat... How does a jellical cat on two legs? Is that, is there a, this is a fucking vulture and they left a the word out? One problem Dowling ran into the course cat school, no matter how much the cast trained the, moving as quickly as possible on four legs, and we trained bloody long... They couldn't move fast enough to make some scenes work. Some two-legged movement was simply an inev- inev- inevitability. As Jason Drillo put it, we're not just regular cats, we're cat people. That is true. And I side with Jason Drillo on that. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, wow. I just love when they... When the actors like get so, that's the thing, dude. Acting is not that hard. It is if you're playing the fucking real guy, the, the guy that, you know, or the girl that's like an actual emotional arc in a scene. Or if you're playing somebody with like, you know, if you're, if you don't have Down syndrome and you got to play somebody with Down syndrome, but dude, cats just fucking go out there and prance around. Or like my favorite is when, the, when it's like, when it's like, uh, an army movie and they're like well we're gonna go fucking three months of basic training and you're like that's just mind numbing dude it's a waste of fucking time i'll study the scene by scene why do i need to fucking be out in the middle of the jungle and not sleep in my bed because i you know because i need to hand somebody a crock pot in a tent in a scene it makes no sense it makes no sense oh yeah 
what does me being at basic training for fucking sleeping over for four four weeks you know what I mean in the in in wherever the fuck so I learned how to load a gun just teach me how to load the gun I already know how to load the gun but I'll do it for your fucking humor to humor you but I gotta be at fucking basic training for four weeks like we get I don't know, man. I just don't. It's like they make it's so, it's mostly easy acting, so they try to busy it up. It's like that school report that it's like when you come home at uh, and your and your mom's like, "What do you have for work and for homework?" And you're like, "I I got to do a report, or I got to do a po I got to make a poster for a book I read, you know." And then she's like, "Okay," and it takes thirty minutes, and she's like, well, "That's all as long as it takes," and you're like, "That's what they wanted." I'm like, well, take longer on it. Make it better. And you're like, this is what they fucking wanted. I don't do busy work, man. Like Jen Conroy, she did busy work when, when I was in, like, fifth grade. wonder where she is now, man. Maybe she fucking produced her cats. Wow, that'd be amazing. Good for her, if she is. Good for Jen Conroy for producing cats. The fucking... I... I need they honestly I swear to God these studios need to fucking hire me to just be yes or no is this movie going to do well a fucking course not is this no is this yeah sure yeah it is is this or I'll be good at this too is this movie going to do well well it's going to do well in Russia you know what I mean why because it's got so many like cars and guns in it like that kind of shit dude jellical cat. I talk too much about cats, for real, period.